everybody, this is my review of Season 8, Episode 2 of Fear of the Walking Dead. The episode is entitled Blue Jay. And this is, if you're a June fan, this is a June heavy episode. It's also a Dwight and Cherry heavy episode. This should just be called June, Dwight and Cherry. But, uh... You see that June has kind of went off her rocker. It seems like all of them must have had to work for Padre for a time. Um, whether they wanted to or not. But June is hunting the people that catch the kids and catch the people. And cutting their fingers off. Hey, well, she shoots them with a... I don't know where she's getting stuff to make poison darts. Or darts to knock people out but uh, she has a lot of it enough to you know incapacitate several jars full of people's fingers full of people uh, because she incapacitates them and cuts a finger off um, it seems like maybe there's a story to that uh, with something that happens later in the episode, but uh, yeah, June's went even more feral than when we first saw her back in season four. Um, I don't, I haven't really cared for the actress since she was on Dharma and Greg. I didn't like anything from after Dharma and Greg until she was on Fear of the Walking Dead. But she, June, she does really well with June, so I will not give her a hard time on that. I mean, that characters went all over the place, but never in an unbelievable way. I mean, even when she was in the bunker with uh, Dory's dad, you know, things went okay. The guy coming in trying to get her to help uh, find his daughter. Uh, yeah, I know you would want to... You'd want to... Uh, save your child but you got to figure they're either dead or they don't want to be with you by then uh june shooting uh dwight it's crazy i mean this whole thing's crazy i mean yeah i know cults and societies can keep things going and i know in a post-apocalyptic world anything keeping you fed and housed and safe you're going to give deference to but it just doesn't seem like people would give away their children that easily I know that there are certain people that will I mean there's certain people that just don't care especially like math addicts you know they don't care if they lose their kids at least some of them don't uh and you know Dwight and Cherry get to see their kid for just a short time uh and he's got like an appendix that's gonna burst um but then they make this like one big I think COVID gave them uh an idea on Walking Dead and on Fear of the Walking Dead that we can do a lot of these smaller vignette type things with only a few actors. So they're saving on, uh, they're saving on, um, background, in you know, it's not background characters. I'm trying to think of what they're fucking called. Anyways, you know, the people that might get like, like, um, uh, one day's pay for acting just for being in the background um you know but there's there's just not there's not many people uh but we find out that june is doing like she's doing because padres had her doing things that she didn't want to do uh, but the, this whole train thing it's a decent set piece um, just, you know, especially with all these shows, by the time you get to the eighth season, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, if 
The Walking Dead hadn't done it in season 11. It's kind of like they're ripping off the main show, which, you know, the one thing I have liked about Fear is they do try to go a different route uh, sometimes, you know, than the main show ever did, but, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. You think everything's good, and then that guy sees that June actually, uh, you know, knew that his daughter was dead, and, yeah, uh, what else, I thought about getting more professional with these, but fuck it, only a few people watch them, and if you watch them, you like what I do anyway, and if you don't, well, you're not gonna make it how many ever fucking long minutes I'm into this one, uh, June tries to start, and then you got the Padre people coming in, and yeah, I hope something interesting comes out of this Padre shit. Probably won't. I like. I've still liked all the seasons of Fear, but uh, you know, it's just it's because I, I love zombie shit. It could be. It, it's not that superb of a show. I do think it's really. <laughs> terrible that they let Dwight and Cherry's boy get bit, but it does give June impetus to try to make her so-called cure work. Um, I do think it's wild that they cut her finger off. Uh, it's a very gory episode. I mean, you know, you think zombie show gory, but you know, most of the time it's more about the people. This episode is more about the gore, which is one reason I like this episode. Uh, then you've got uh, Morgan and uh, oh, can't think of her name. I still can't think of her name. Uh, she helps him escape, and I don't know. Maybe next week will be better. I mean, this week's wasn't bad, but. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm ex one to expect or expecting from this last season, but it, it seems more like the, uh, a regular season when they're, you know, trying to string you along to the mid-season finale and then on to the end of the season and you know, they can have these episodes that kind of go nowhere. This episode went some, but it didn't go enough to me. But anyways, we will see you all next week.